Hey, what's going on, everybody? How are you? My name is Michael Levan. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I do want to share with you something really, really cool that I've been working on this week. And it's GitHub Actions, specifically creating your own GitHub action. So you could literally like, you know, when you go into GitHub Actions and you go to create, you know, maybe to like run a command or maybe you want to do something in Azure. So you search in the marketplace for Azure and then you have those commands there that come up in that YAML configuration. You can actually create those yourself, which is obviously really awesome. So what I want to do is I want to actually show you how to create those on your own using Go. And with that, let's go ahead and jump right into the demo. So I'm on my GitHub here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my repositories and I'm going to create a new repository. Now this new repository is going to be where our GitHub action lives. So I'm going to type go example, do the same thing for the description. That's fine. We'll initialize it with a readme and then we'll go ahead and we'll create that repository. So once this repository is created, we can clone it down. So we'll go here, we'll use the GitHub client. If you don't have that installed, you could just do like the standard Git clone. I have the GitHub client installed, so I'll just go ahead and I'll use that. I'll open up my browser here, I'm clear. Oops, actually, then I'm gonna go that. Perfect, so I've cloned my repository down. I'm gonna go to CD go example. I'm gonna run code, right? And now this is gonna open up my new repository for me. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to actually, you know, create some code here. So I'm going to do go example dot go. I'm going to say package main and then I'm going to do some imports here. So I'm going to say FMT, for example, and then I'll do a funk main. Right. And then I'll just say FMT print LN. Hello world. Actually, let's make this a little bit more interesting. We'll do hello. YouTube, because uh, the standard hello world is boring, right? So we'll just change the name and make it really cool. So <clears throat> what we can do, so really what this is, is it's not, you know, supposed to be like how to write Go code. This is supposed to be, you know, okay, you have some Go code. Now you want to create an action out of it. So this is just like a really, really basic example. But so next, what we want to do is we want to create an action dot YAML. Now, what the action.yaml does is it allows us to run our GitHub action. This is the thing that allows us to run the GitHub action. Now, let's go ahead and let's take a step back for a second. There are three types of actions. One is the usual one that people use, and this is like the most common one because it was the first one ever created, which is JavaScript. You can create your actions out of JavaScript. You can also create your actions out of Docker containers. You can package up your application and put it in a Docker container. The next one is what we're doing, which is called a composite action. Now, a composite action allows you to write actions in any general purpose programming language like Go, PowerShell, Python, etc. But to do that, you do need this action YAML file because this is what's going to kick off our Go code. So let's go ahead and start typing this out. So the first thing we're going to set here is the name. We'll say Go example, right? We'll set the description same thing we'll just say go example that's fine we don't need anything fancy and then now what we want to do is we want to set up how our go example dot go code is going to actually run so we're going to type in runs here and then we're going to say using composite now see here we're sp sp ah. <laughs> can't talk we are specifying that we're going to be running a composite action right in this action.yaml and then we're going to say steps. So our steps are going to be very simple. We're going to actually need to run the Go code. So to do that, we're going to do go run, go example dot go, and then we're going to give it a shell to use. We could just use like bash, for example. So what this is going to do is this is actually going to run our Go code for us. It's going to go to that go example dot go in the default directory where both files are and then it's going to take that go file and it's going to run it via a bash shell. So with that, let's go ahead and commit our code. I'm going to say test example, right? And then once we commit the code, what we're going to have to do is 
are going to have to tag it because when you create an action, it goes based off of tags that are created and releases. So what I'm going to do is literally going to tag this git tag v1 and then I'm going to do git push tags. So we're going to push our tags up here and then what we can do is we can head over to our GitHub repo again and we can take a look at those tags. So if I refresh this here, we can see, oh, not yet. Let's see, oh, did we push our code up? Maybe we didn't. Let's see what we did. Oh, there we go. Okay, forgot to push it. <laughs> so we're actually gonna have to <laughs> delete those tags and recreate them. So what we can do is now we can do tag v1. Oop. We can do git tag d v1, right? We can say git tag again because we want to tag the latest code. And then we're going to do again git push tags, right? And then everything up to date here. So we're going to go back to here. We're going to refresh. Okay, so now we can actually see our code here. And the other thing that you can see here is this pop-up says, you know, publish this action to the marketplace. So it knows that this is a repo for a GitHub action. So we can actually publish it now if we wanted to. So now what we can do is we can create a new release. We're going to say V1, V1. We're going to do it by existing tag. We'll publish that. And then we'll go ahead and we'll take a look at the source code. So I've downloaded that. I'm going to open this. We're going to go in here and now we can see that it has both files. It has that action.yaml and then it has the go example.go inside of the release. So with that, now we can actually start creating our own action. And to do that, we're going to go to actions, right? So we can see here that I do have a failed action in here. That's perfectly okay. I was just doing a little bit of testing, but we are going to create a new workflow. Let's go ahead and create that new workflow and we'll go over the Go workflow. Now this actually pops up by default because I'm using Go and GitHub knows that. So it suggests this workflow to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set up this workflow. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to delete all of this. So now I'll only be left with these two runs. The first one is gonna be actually set up Go on my Ubuntu latest. And then I'm going to be checking out that code. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna say name, right? And I'm gonna say go example. And then I'm gonna type in uses. Now this is very important. The one thing that I do wanna show is look on line 22. You see how it says actions slash checkout v2? That's the repository in the GitHub account that this action lives inside. So we're gonna do the same thing. Since my action is an admin turn DevOps slash go example, I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to type admin turned DevOps slash go example. And then we remember we tagged and then we created a new release at V1. So we're going to say at V1. And with that, what we can do is we can start our commit. Now, when we do start our commit, the action will kick off right away. Because if you look on lines four through seven, anytime that we push to main or a pull request to main, this action is going to kick off. So we're going to do start commit here. We're going to commit the new file and then we're going to go to actions and we're going to see that this is automatically kicking off for us. So let's go to the queue job. We'll go to the build and then we'll watch this thing run and hopefully finish successfully. Okay. And as we can see, our action has completed successfully. If we go to go example, that was our step that we created. We can see that the action from admin turn DevOps slash go example at V1 ran because we see the output hello YouTube and that's how you can create a github action using go thank you so much for watching really appreciate it and we'll see you again next time